Hey guys, in this video we're going to have a look at Newton's law of universal gravitation and then a worked example to help us conceptualize this law. Right, let's have a look at a diagram. Um, basically, what Newton said is that every um, particle in the universe attracts every particle in the universe. And the force um, between these two particles is known as gravity. And um, the magnitude is given by this formula over here. The gravitational attraction between two bodies, M1 and M2, is equal to um, G, which is the universal gravitational constant, which I'm just going to write up here, is equal to um, 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. And... Um, yeah, so it's that G times um, the product of the two masses over the um, distance between the center of the two bodies squared, which makes sense because the further away um, the two bodies are, um, the smaller this gravitational force. Um, it's also um, the the greater the masses, the greater this um, this gravitational force, and I guess the way you can write that is um, F is inversely proportional to 1 on R squared, so as 1 on R squared gets bigger, F gets smaller, and also um, F is um, proportional to the masses, so the bigger the masses, the, um, the greater the force. Right, um, so one other point that is raised is that um, these two forces between the two are I guess a Newton action and reaction pair and the force of um, two on one which is this force um, the attraction force pulling one towards two is actually equal and opposite to the force of one on two and that's demonstrated in this force vector equation at the bottom there right uh, before we look at the example we're going to have a look at um, G and G, because we've already got a G. We've seen it many times in um, weight force questions. But now we've got a new G, the capital G. This is um, the gravitational constant. Um, everywhere in the universe it's the same, and this is um, the acceleration due to gravity on Earth. Um, so they are quite different. And we need we can't get confused. And the way we actually figure out um, the magnitude of this or other value of this um, is by using the formula um, on Earth. So if we had um, a body of mass m on Earth surface, um, we'd get that the force of gravity is equal to um, we just sub in the two masses, and in this case we have the radius of Earth as our um, distance between the body and the center of Earth. And um, we also have this equation that the weight force on Earth is equal to mg. Now, um, if we put, um, if we equate these two things, we get mg is equal to big G m mass of Earth all over radius of Earth squared. Right, so we've got times m on both sides, so we can get rid of that. And we end up with g is equal to g mass of Earth over radius of Earth squared. Um, right, and, if, and we've, if we have values for all those three things, we can actually find g. And you'll find that it actually equals 9.8 um, meters per second squared. Um, just quickly, if the... If the body is above Earth's surface, we have to add that onto that radius. So often you'll see, um, rather than this formula, you'll see something that looks like this. Where H is the height of the body above Earth's surface. Right, so um, this is actually what we're going to use in our example. Um, these numerical examples aren't really so popular in the gravitational um, topics, but um, this one might help you to 
conceptualize the formula a little bit better. Right, so we've got determine the force of gra the gravitational attraction between the Earth, um, there's its mass, and a 70 kilogram person, that is 300 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. Right, so um, what we're going to do first is write down our formula that we've just learned. And we're going to use that um, RE plus H squared um, formula because he's not on the Earth's surface, he's uh, above the Earth's surface. Right, now we can just sub in all the values we know. Um, so this one's 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. By the way, you won't have to remember that. That'll be given to you. Um, the mass um, of the person is um, 70 kilograms times the mass of the Earth, 5.98 times 10 to the oops, times 10 to the 24, and um, radius of Earth. Right, so we need to change these to meters because that's our standard unit. So I'm just going to times that by 10 to the 3 as I'm going to do with the um, height as well. Squared. Right, now if we put that all into our calculator, we end up with uh, the gravitational attraction being 627.4 for Newtons. And that's essentially how we use that formula. And that concludes this lesson. Thanks, guys. Cut study time with concise video summaries by top students. Visit SpoonFeedMe.com to view more free videos in this course and hundreds of others.